Okay, well I've got my first bisque firing underway in my new portable flat pack ceramic kiln. This is a two foot by two foot by two foot cube and it's mounted on uh, some fire bricks that are set on top of a piece of duroc on top of some concrete blocks and I've got it for safety's sake out in an open area on my concrete dock overlooking the water. Um, two inch ceramic fiber is what the kiln is made out of. It's uh, held to a backing of hog wire by some nichrome wire ties. I've got a K-type thermocouple leading to a I forget what the hell you call this thing, uh, a digital pyrometer so that I can monitor the temperature as the uh, firing progresses. For a burner, I've got your standard Home Depot weed burner rated at 500,000 BTU, but I'm not going to be firing it anywhere near up to that capacity. Right now I have it on a very low fire and I have the flame adjusted so low that you can see it's firing with a yellow flame. The pots inside the kiln are probably getting carbon blackened at this point, which is not a problem because when the when the heat is ramped up later on in the firing, all that carbon will burn off in addition to the carbon that's inside the uh, clay itself. The kiln is collapsible and it's held together by a number of just little 98 cent alligator clips. I've got five of them on each edge and the, the square shaped uh, formed by all these being held together is just resting on top of another piece of two inch ceramic fiber that's uh, sitting on top of these uh, fire bricks that I had to order online. There's not really an actual flue opening in the kiln itself but the lid as you can see is loose. I've added a little nichrome wire loop so I can move it around and I can adjust the opening here to allow as much uh, of a draft as I want and the way the kiln is designed the flame goes in, circulates underneath the uh, kiln shelf uh, heat leaks up all around on all sides but it will generally flow around and out so that there is sort of an updraft to the whole design uh, I'm not just running the, the weed burner directly into the uh, propane tank I actually bought a special rig online that I can use to put two propane tanks uh, together feeding simultaneously and they're feeding <clears throat> into a 20 pound high pressure regulator I can adjust the output from the regulator here and I also have an adjustment on my weed burner itself so that I can pretty closely regulate the flame to where I want it to be I did preheat my my pottery in the kitchen stove last night to make sure it was entirely dry and uh, run off any water that might be still remaining in the clay. I heated it up to 345 degrees which is just below the point at which organic material starts to burn out. I didn't want to stink up the kitchen so I left it at that point and it pretty much ran from 1015 last night until 9 o'clock this morning when I when I uh, or 930 this morning when I loaded up the kiln. Right now the kiln is at 364 degrees. It's been firing for about 20 minutes. I had preheated it, um, got it up to 360 degrees, and then I shut the burner down, went back in the house, got my ware out of the kitchen oven, carried it out here, loaded up the kiln, covered it back up, kicked on the flame. At that point it had dropped to 170 degrees Fahrenheit, but it rapidly climbed back up to about uh, 315 degrees or so and I started tweaking the flame until I got a very very slow rise and I'm going to continue that slow rise up until we hit about 660 degrees Fahrenheit so we've got about eh, about 300 degrees to go that should take us an hour and a half at least uh, maybe closer to two hours right now it's about 10 minutes to 10 in the morning and I will update later Well, it's 10.07 now, 10.07 a.m. Um, temperature's up to 412 degrees Fahrenheit. The wind shifted uh, from the east to the northeast, and it started to blow my flame around a little bit. And since I've got the flame set so low at this point, 
the temperature started to drop, uh, drop down to about 388 degrees. So I set this little piece of Duroc up to act as a windshield. That seems to have solved the problem. And let's see where we are now. It's climbing still. We're up to about 418 degrees Fahrenheit. And everything is looking good at this point. Been running the flame just like this. Uh, it's now almost 1130, up to about 525 degrees Fahrenheit. And this flame level has provided just about a perfect uh, temperature ramp, uh, just about what I'm shooting for. Once I finished loading this thing this morning, even though I'd preheated it and I'd preheated the wear that went into it, by the time I'd finished loading it, if the internal temperature had dropped to about 270 degrees. I'm up to about 525 degrees now, two hours later, so I'm getting a nice slow temperature rise barely have the lid cracked to provide a draft at this point. You can see here maybe a half an inch in spots is completely closed off in other spots but uh, nice slow steady temperature rise which is what I'm looking for. When we hit 660 degrees we're gonna kick it up just a notch give it a kind of a medium temperature rise. I might just pull this uh, burner back another inch or so from the uh, opening when I do that, but right now everything is looking good. Well, the wind had picked up a little bit and stalled it out. We'd been up to about 5, 7, uh, 525, and the wind came up and it dropped it down to about 520 because it was blowing it around a little bit. So what I did was uh, bump up the flame just a hair and I moved the burner back maybe a quarter of an inch further. So I am burning a little bit faster now, but you can see it's still a yellow flame, not a blue flame yet. And I didn't change the uh, draft setting at all. But in uh, 20, 22 minutes, 25 minutes, something like that, I have started climbing again and again. Right now we're up uh, 580 degrees from 520 degrees, so looks like we got it got it working. I don't think we're climbing too fast at this point. Everything's looking good. Alright, I've been running for two hours and 38 minutes now and as you can see I'm right up to about 645. I just tipped 646 degrees. The wind has picked up a little bit blowing the flame around. I did have to bump it a little bit. You can see I've got my draft open just a little bit further. You can feel the heat coming out here. Still in the carbon burn-off stage here, but you can see also I did bump the flame a little bit, just starting to see a little bit of blue coming out. Still mostly yellow, but uh, gosh, I got a lot of throttle left on this weed burner. The 500,000 BTUs if I crank it wide open, and uh, I'm a long, long way from that. So trying to go slow here. Once I hit. 660 degrees, that's the point at which the chemical water in the clay starts to be released that's bound up in the molecules. And uh, at that point, since all the physical water is already out of the clay, I can uh, kick it up a notch again. I might wait till it hits about 700 degrees just to be on the safe side, but uh, we're going to rock and roll at that point on up to about 1200, 1250 or so before the next little pause. My, my loyal little kiln helper patches, little, my little 16 year old dog is supervising here. We're up to 787 degrees now. You can see my damper setting here. Just got it barely cracked. Maybe I'm guessing maybe five square inches total for the flue gases to escape. I have bumped up the flame a little bit, but again, starting to show a little blue in there, but still mostly uh, mostly yellow. And I haven't even hit second gear with this burner yet. I got a lot more horsepower if I need it, but it seems to be climbing at just about the rate that I want. And. Uh, We'll see what happens here. 
1.15 in the afternoon we're up to 940 degrees once again I have not changed my damper setting I just now bumped this thing up a little bit and moved it a little bit further back and we're starting to finally show a little blue flame going in here and the temperature seems to be rising pretty quick I'm going to keep this going up to about 1290-13 degrees and uh, then I'm going to adjust the flame to hold it there for maybe 20-30 minutes and after that it's rock and roll to the finish. Looking good. Okay, uh, three hours and 20 minutes and uh, we're up to about 1100 and uh, 25 degrees now. As you can see, I've backed the burner off a little further, kicked it into gear a little bit, got a little blue flame going in there now. Still got plenty of throttle left on this baby. Have not changed the, uh, the setting here. I don't see any flames licking out yet, so it doesn't need more air. Still firing, uh, hopefully uh, balanced between oxidation and reduction. Let's see what we're looking at now. Well, bumping up to 1130 degrees right now, which is good. Uh, we're going to take this thing up to about 1290, 1300 degrees and hold it there a little bit. And then after that, we're going to put the spurs to it and crank this mother up. Well, we got four hours and 34 minutes since we started. We're at 1229, almost bumping on 1230 degrees. And once again, no change in my flu setting. I've pretty much left it adjusted just like this. I have kicked the burner up a notch. And you can see we got the blue flame going in there now, baby. I backed it off about an inch, inch and a quarter, maybe an inch and a half from the entrance. All the heat's going in. You can see no flames are coming up, so we got the oxidation reduction thing going on right, I think. Believe it or not, I can actually, it is warm to the touch, but it's not going to burn your hand unless you hold it there, touching the side of this thing. The top, I'm not too sure of. That's not bad. I can still grab the handle barehanded. It's not very hot. Uh, I tell you what, I am thrilled with the way this is working. So far, so good. Now let's see how much we've climbed since this thing started. I did just kick it up, so now 1,240 degrees. So we're we're going. Hit 1,290. I am going to back off the flame and try to hold that temp a while. And after maybe 30 minutes or so, it's rock and roll until the finish. Uh, 1,350 degrees. Just to give you an idea, the heat escaping. These flue gases. Watch this. I got a little piece of little piece of paper right here. Ooh. That's hot. Getting up close to fifteen hundred degrees here. Five more degrees to go. Once again, I have not changed my my flue setting. It's pretty much the same. I have bumped up my burner speed several times. Now you can see it's a, it's a blue flame now for sure. And you look inside, it's getting red hot in there. Not firing in reduction. There's no flames coming out here, so it's still efficiently using the uh, propane. Ooh, it's hot. The thing is radiating some heat, but it's cooking with gas and looking good, and I'm pleased with the way this firing is going so far. All right, as you can see, my little dog Patches, my loyal little dog, 16 years old, is still hanging with me. I think she likes the warmth from this thing. Can't understand how she can stand the heat, but 
right now we're up to 1661 degrees I have cranked the burner up a bit believe it or not I'm only at about 10% throttle right now I did close the flue down a little bit I figured out it was heating up faster you can see in here starting to glow red inside let me get a different angle for you walking around here I don't want to get my face up next to that, but I'm going to put the camera down. You can see the inside of that kiln it's starting to glow pretty damn hot. We're up to cone 010 right now. I'm going to take this firing up to cone 06, maybe even cone 05. Because I'm firing pretty fast right now, I'm, I might even take it up to about 1,900 degrees, which will probably give me a cone 6 firing just because the speed that I'm ramping it up at now will uh, take a while to, the temperature will take a while to soak into the wear. So even though I take it above what's traditionally a cone 6 temperature, I think it'll wind up being a cone 6 firing. If not, Cone five and a half, cone five, it's all good. Well, right now I'm at cone 06 temperature. Look inside here, you can see things are, I'd call that orange hot. Once again, no flames escaping here, although you can see, looking inside, let me get away from the thing here, there's an orange glow coming from the inside there. Ooh, just the heat coming off of this is, is pretty hot. 1856 degrees, uh, I'm not going to ramp it up anymore, it seems to have kind of stabilized here, I'm going to let it soak, maybe. 15 minutes. If it gets up to 1900, gets me a cone 05, that's fine too. I'm just uh, really, really pleased the way this bisque firing goes. It went. And uh, my little dog Patches, she's been with me the whole time. And she's a happy girl. And, um, I'll uh, update photos when uh, I do the unloading later on. Well, just for the hell of it, I cranked this sucker up. You can see it's glowing orange hot inside there. I'm trying to hit 1900. Oh, look at this. I just did. I think I'm at a cone 5 because I've ramped it pretty fast here. Cone, I should say cone 05. puppy off. It's been a fun day. Hope everything turned out good. My little dog Patches likes the warmth of that kiln. <laughs>